I'm Suzanne Lemonyo. Here are the stories making headlines at this hour. Police in Chicago's Washington Heights neighborhood are asking for your help to find a man they say attacked a young woman. He's the man that you see in this photo. Investigators say last Thursday he forced the 18 year old woman from a bus stop near 95th and Halstead to a secluded area where he sexually assaulted her and took her money. At the time he was wearing a black fleece jacket, gray jogging pants and a black and red baseball cap. Today, an immigration court will decide the fate of a 17 year old Lake County girl who is facing deportation back to Honduras. I just want to stay here to be with my family and be safe. I don't want to die, to be honest. Marjorie Orbina Contreras came to the United States illegally in 2014, escaping threats of violence in Honduras. She was reunited with her mother, who left Honduras when Marjorie was eight months old. She has two sisters here who are U.S. citizens, but her requests for asylum have been denied. Her hearing is set for this afternoon. Today marks the one year anniversary of a deadly tornado that hit the towns of Ottawa and Naplate in LaSalle County. Two people died and at least 14 hurt when the EF3 tornado touched down and caused damage along an 11 mile path. An open house is going to be held at 430 this afternoon at Naplate Village Hall, followed by a ceremony at 7 to honor the victims and recovery efforts in the two communities. Meteorologist Megan Glaros now with your forecast. And the forecast for today does include a little bit of light rain and falling temperatures into the afternoon. We'll drop back down into the 40s. 54 degrees for your high temperature today. It's going to be breezy and wet tomorrow. More consistent steady rain out there on your Thursday. Friday, the sunshine comes back out and should stay with us through the weekend. But for the next two days, I would suggest the umbrella. She was the driving force for change in Chicago. The CTA's first female bus driver is reflecting on her job during Black History Month. Mary Wallace says she persisted applying to the CTA for several years. In 1974, amid pressure to integrate the staff, Wallace was hired. She may have been the first behind the wheel, but Wallace says she and the other women drivers who followed all headed into new territory. A lot of them were like single mothers, you know, and they didn't have jobs and all of a sudden there was a job out there for them. Yes, we can. And yes, we did. Wallace retired after 33 years. She spent about half that time as a supervisor. Keep it right here on CBS Chicago for updates throughout the day.